All right, what's up guys? It's Wombat, and today, uh, don't be fooled, this isn't another live stream. I'm just trying out this camera setup as like a way of testing something. <clears throat> All right, so today, we're gonna be um, looking into one of the different competitive aspects of Beyblade Burst. I mean, it's always been an aspect of Beyblade, it's just a lot more, um, I guess, noticeable in Burst. And that is, um, <clears throat> Balance tuning your combo. So, um, most of the time, if you if you get a new Beyblade and you launch it, uh, you might notice that it'll move around a bit, act a little erratically, like kind of like that. That's um, <clears throat> that's Deep Chaos Seven Revolve. Revolves a pretty stationary driver and it shouldn't be moving around like that. The reason Revolve is moving around so much is because that the layer in the disc are imbalanced in with the driver. The combo is imbalanced. <clears throat> and the reason for this is because uh, each part, so like even though, like for example, so so, um, for example, like, not all parts are <clears throat> created equal. Like, see, I have these four heavies here. This might seem like completely common sense, but I do have to explain it. Uh, these are, these, in a perfect world, these would be identical discs. The only thing differentiating them would be, like, color and how oxidized they were. But the truth is that, if I get the scale... I don't know if you can see that very well, but like, this gold heavy here is 21.69, 21.7 grams. This one here is 21.61. This one's 21.72. And this one is 21.64. So they're all around like, the 21.6, 21.7 gram mark. But there are like some slight weight variations, and it's not something you can really see just by looking at them, but there's also some vari variations in the way the weight's distributed too. And sometimes that means the disc will become imbalanced. And um, balance tuning is not a process to actually like make your part balanced. It just means that you're canceling out the imbalances of one part with the imbalances of another part to create like a balanced combo as a whole, if that makes any sense. So the way you do this is you get the three parts for the combo, or I guess four parts if you're using God Series Bay or whatever that you want to balance. So if I want to do Odin Heavy Defense, or yeah, Odin Heavy Defense, or Beat Chaos 7 Revolve, just as an example, I'll do that. So basically, um, this is, what you do is you just assemble the combo a certain way, and then you launch it. If it moves aggressively, that means it's not balanced. So, normally what, uh, just the pro players in Japan will do, is they'll buy just a whole bunch of, like, Rising Ragnaroks, or whatever, uh, Spriggan Heavy Defenses or whatever, to just get as many of a certain part as possible to find, like, the most absolutely perfect one. And they even have this special bearing machine. If I can find, if I can find a picture of it, I'll post it right now in the video. But yeah, they use this machine to, like, actually test the part's individual balance and create the most perfect balance combo. And even on Yahoo Japan auctions, you'll see, like, Perfect balance, G1 adjustment goods, Death Scyther, heavy defense, or whatever, going for like 130,000 yen, or something ridiculous like that, because it is the most perfect, perfect Death Scyther heavy defense available, or something along the lines of that. So what you do, obviously, because not everyone can afford to do that, is you get uh, the parts you have, um, if it moves around... What you'll need to do is um, disassemble it, rotate the disc or the driver 180 degrees, 
and reassemble it. As you can see, or here, it's visibly more shaky than the first one was. That just means this one's worse balance. It's all a matter of trial and error. So that didn't work. Uh, so what you'll want to do now is rotate the disc and the driver. So this is basically, defense is in the same position it was to begin with. And then the disc is rotated 180 degrees from where it was. You launch it again. That's still pretty bad balance, so you'll rotate the driver again, because there's four different possible disc and driver orientations for each combo. So, if you launch... That looked the best out of these four, but it was still a little unbalanced, so... If you have multiple copies of a disc, you can just swap out a different disc or a different driver to see if it balances better. And... As you can see, like, I've already pre-balanced this, just, I was just using it when I've already pre-balanced for the sake of a video that actually has, like, a conclusion, but... Yeah, this is a pretty well-balanced combo. You can see it's not moving around a lot. And even if I launch it, like, super strong, It's moving around, but you can like hear the movement is very smooth. It's not like hopping or erratic at all, and it comes like to a perfect standstill right in the center of the stadium. That's how you know a good balance combo. And the benefits of balance tuning is that like obviously a better balance combo is going to have better stamina. It doesn't make it a balance type because I know people are going to ask it in the comments. Uh, no, balance tuning your combo does not make it a balance type. It gives it better stamina. But, yeah, and what most high-level players do is they will mark their parts a certain way. Like, you see this blue and green mark on my Odin? Um, I have a black mark here on my Heavy, and another black dot. This thing does not focus very well. A black dot on this part of, on the screw of my defense driver right there. So if you just line those three up... When you assemble the Beyblade, that's how you know that's the good balance orientation. And, as you can see, I have multiple marks on my Odin. The other one's for my, uh, odin Yell revolve combo. So, it's nice to have, like, different color Sharpies or whatever to just mark things in different colors so you know, oh, this goes this way in this combo, but this other way in another combo. Because parts will balance differently with one another. But yeah, um, either way, balanced tuning your combos will give them more stamina. Um, it will make their movement less aggressive, so if that's something you're going for, um, you might not want to do that. And even you can tell on like some stallers, if by the noise they make when they're stalling along the tornado ridge, whether or not they're well balanced. And... I honestly can't think of a good way to balance stallers because they're going to move aggressively no matter what. But I think just by judging by the noise and whether they like stay upright when they stop spinning or if they fall over, that's a good way to tell if they're balanced or not. So yeah, um, I hope this video has been informative. So that's about it. Um, I can't really think of anything else to say. So... I will see you guys next time. I don't know what my next video will be, but I'll see you then.